Hello friends, uh, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Uh, every Saturday uh, uh, I was uh, posting tutorials regarding 3D Max uh, uh, but I want to start a new uh, tutorial in Photoshop but in India we have a Diwali on uh, th 3rd and 4th so this week I was uh, really uh, busy with uh, enjoyment you can say uh, because uh, we have uh, uh, this type of yummy foods uh, so <laughs> I cannot manage to uh, to do a nice tutorials but anyway but uh, I can start some good tutorials now so today we'll see how to make a 3d mic uh, microphone in uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, here we take an Adobe Photoshop CS6 uh, I'll start with new document file new uh, just around to take any uh, uh, for example we can take any this kind of template I'll, I'll increase the width some around uh, 1800 why because uh, the mic width and height should be should be uh, fitted properly in the document I'll name this I'll say okay uh, I'll just fill with white by default it is white uh, now what I'll start is I'll start with the mesh the net of the mic uh, so I'll take elliptical marker tool I'll add one layer I'll rename this I'll say mic net and I'll just press shift and alt to drag proportionate circle uh, to fill this uh, to fill this selection with a mesh we need lines uh, we need lines uh, horizontal and vertical so the best way to do this kind of uh, lines is we can make a pattern or we can use uh, this stamp uh, st pattern stamp tool but uh, I'll show you some very fast technique where you can easily fill this uh, pattern first we will make a pattern I'll go to file new I'll say 5 pixel width and 2 pixel height or maybe vice versa you can take 2 and 5 whatever it is and the same uh, I'll say and it should be transparent background should not uh, some around white we have to take transparent so I'll name this document say ok now this is your document is 5 by 2 I'll just go to zoom tool this is what a uh, maximum zoom is there after that uh, zoom will stop happening this is what we want I'll take uh, pencil pencil tool and I'll fill a black with it now I have to define uh, the pattern I'll go to edit go to define pattern you can say you can name or name this doesn't matter we can say ok I'll say ok and this is the horizontal line so we want vertical lines as well so edit sorry we'll go to image image rotation I'll say 90 degree clockwise this is what we get then again you have to go to edit define pattern I'll say ok 
uh, now when you will check uh, your stamp tool pattern stamp tool you will be seeing see this pattern spot we have made these two patterns I have made previously and these two patterns I have made right now in front of you I'll go to my document microphone the selection is active I'll I'll press shift and backspace shift and backspace the fill option appears or you can go to edit there's a fill the shortcut is shift 5 but by pressing shift and backspace also uh, this comes I'll go to pattern take pattern custom pattern this one I'll say ok like this again you have to go to pattern like shift and backspace and now this one this is what we want a net now I'll go to filter I'll go to distort then I'll, I'll go to spearize because I want this net should be seen as a spear this is what we want so this will be in minus and this will be in plus I'll say ok uh, this nice uh, illusion is uh, giving a very very uh, realistic effect on it so I'll, I'll, I'll make one more layer I'll make one more layer I'll say color I'll go to gradient I'll take this gradient I'll click on white bucket I'll go to color we have to take this gray fine I'll say ok go to radial gradient and just cross your gradient like this and this is layer what we have filled and you can say you can change to multiply you, you, of course you can change uh, the opacity as per requirement uh, this is looks cool yeah this looks cool and I'll go to mic I'll go to FX I'll go to bevel and emboss because the uh, the threads will be more visible some around find this you can say see how it is this one is much more better I'll say just go down by 36% or 35% opacity now I'll say ok now I'll, I'll going to deselect this circle control D now uh, this is what we have uh, mesh and this is a color I'll take uh, now I want one strip from here to here I'll take one more layer I'll go to rectangle I'll drag one rectangle here I'll go to gradient now I want four buckets four to five buckets say five black gray and then black and then white slightly white and then again black 
and make some close front and this is down I'll say ok now I'll go to this gradient I'll take linear drag from top to bottom like this should not happen press shift shift will make sure your gradient line is in straight now I'll go to FX and go to bevel and emboss this is what with depth we want I'll say ok control D for deselect uh, no I want some very hard effect over here I'll again I'll go to table and emboss and want less in size just the strip is this should be a uh, line should visible see this line should visible it gives a proper uh, a metallic effect you can say now it seems uh, it's not it seem it, it is very straight but we want uh, something round so I'll go to con I'll go to transform you can say show transform here also or control T you can say right click I'll go to wrap control plus for zoom I'll arrange this point and this point I'll say ok now this whole thing should be grouped I'll say a net I'll go to group over here and say this should be like this I'll take one more layer and go to rectangle mark here selection tool just from here to here I'll say handle I'll go to gradient tool same gradient we can apply from top to end I'll go to image or maybe uh, uh, you can say levels make just more darker I'll say ok control D for deselect control T so like this I'll say right click perspective slightly from here also we have to come down because large portion we have to see I'll say ok now I duplicate this by pressing alt control T perspective I 
as a scale okay now you can go to back to levels and of course adjust some light over here slightly <coughs> I'll say okay I'll again add one more layer go to gradient control L for levels just slightly make it <coughs> bright control D control T perspective like this I'll center and this I'll say control T and perspective I'll match this one I'll say okay and I'll say the whole thing should come control G handle I'll make one more group I'll say control G I'll say microphone or you can add a text Ninety degree. And directly, you can add this kind of things if you want. You can experiment. stroke <coughs> now I'll move this Light upwards and make a copy like this so that we can show the reflection of it I'll say control T I'll make a registration point over here so from here this object will rotate can bring down the opacity make one more layer gradient this is what we 
get can rename this <coughs> that's it friends uh, if you like my tutorial and uh, do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and uh, if you have any doubts you can uh, give me the comments you can write down the comments or uh, whatever if you have any doubts in photoshop or 3d max you just write it down i will address your uh, questions and do check our channel on saturdays we get new tutorials on saturdays and stay tuned take care